The KLIF Ultra Short Throw Projector Cabinet comes in three colours, soft black, alpine white and graphite Denver oak. It's available either with or without the side pods. The easy construction means you only need to use the supplied mallet and a PZ2 Posi Drive screwdriver. Or you can use an electric screwdriver on the lowest torque setting. Before you start, make sure the area where you intend to build the cabinet is clear. You should build it on a carpet or rug to minimize the risk of damage to the pieces. The first thing to do when you remove the lid from the box is to locate the feet. These can be installed before the base is taken out of the box. The feet are simple to connect. You locate the holes on the base, insert the foot and then push it into place. For a firm connection, tap with the provided mallet. Repeat this until all five feet are in place. Then use the provided screws to secure them. Once this is done, remove the base from the box and place it on its feet. On the panels, you will notice numbers. These relate to the sequence in which you should put the cabinet together. There are three upright pieces to install first, two longer side pieces and one shorter centerpiece. Each of these requires clamping dowels to be installed. Gently, using the mallet, insert one into each of these holes, making sure the dowel is pushed in properly. Then use the provided screws to secure them in place. The best thing to do here is to continue with this process on all of the remaining parts so that all the dowels are attached. Fix these to the main unit by slotting the dowels into the holes, then pushing sideways to lock them into place. You will need to use the mallet to get them into their final position. Once the three upright pieces are in position, locate the back of the cabinet, which is the piece with the large holes drilled either side for easy cable entry. Slot this into place. This may need a tap with the mallet to get it to drop down flush with the sides. Then locate the top of the cabinet, the other large piece. Place this on top of the unit to match the holes with the clamping dowels. Once this is in place, secure it by tapping the back with the mallet to lock the dowels and line up the top with the back. Now it's time for the soundbar shelf. Find the four locating pins these come in two parts. The locator fixings need to be pushed into the top of the main unit. The actual locating pins need to be installed on the bottom of the small side pieces so the shelf can be easily removed. These side pieces are then attached to the shelf with the clamping dowels. With the same technique as before, use the mallet to secure them into place. Now find the back of the shelf and drop it into position. This might be quite tight, so make sure the channel doesn't have any debris in it before you tap it down with the mallet. Once this is built, place on top of the main unit using the locating pins to find its position. And there you have it, the main unit is complete. The optional side units are built using the same construction techniques as the main cabinet. As you can see, there are more fixings for the side cabinets due to the addition of hinges. Once you have located the bottom panel, attach the four feet. This is done exactly the same way as the main cabinet. Again, you will need to use the mallet to get these into place. Then screw these in so there's no chance of the feet falling off. Flip this over and we're ready to attach the side panels. Like the main unit, these use clamping dowels. Insert all of these using the mallet. Then secure in place with the screws. Do this for both side panels. To make things a little easier, it is recommended to put the small hinge plates onto the side piece. Pay attention to the arrows on these as they must face the front. Once the hinge plate is on and the dowels are in place, locate the dowels into the holes on the base. To get these into their final position, tap with the mallet. The next piece to go in is the back panel. This will be tight, so you may need to use the mallet to get this into position. Now find the top piece and place it on top of the cabinet, locating the dowels to the holes. Once positioned correctly, use the mallet to fix this into place. 
Now add the shelf pegs and install the shelf. The next step is to fix the hinges onto the doors. These are pre-drilled for easy location. With these hinge brackets, you do not need to screw them in. You just locate them into the hole and snap them shut. Now fix the door onto the cabinet. Just hook in and push the hinge to clip down. If the door is not square, the hinges can be adjusted just like kitchen cabinets. And that's one side cabinet made. Simply repeat these steps to build the second side cabinet and you're done. The full unit looks great when all put together.